Hello everyone, welcome to EliteWaveDesfocus.com YouTube channel. Uh, today is November 30th and the chart of the day for today is the US dollar yen. 60 minutes time frame. We can see we ended W here and we ended X here. So that means we are in the Y leg. Now by this alone, you will know that the pullback here is a correct a corrective pullback, right? Because it's not a 1, 2. It's a WX. So that means uh, the higher degree, if you are looking at the higher degree, it will be higher, right? Uh, it will be higher. Now, when within the Y leg and within the Y leg, it should be subdivided into three waves, corrective. We ended A of, dub, A of Y here as a five waist down, and then ending B of Y here, and then now looking to do the C of Y to the downside, okay? So the idea here is as long as we stay below 149.7, we shall see for the downside. Now in the very short term, uh, we are calling the P completed here, but we still technically must break below the A leg here to validate the view, right? So another option, another alternate will be doing something like this, what we call a double correction. Now if it does something like that, then you have a W here and this become a lower degree ABC I'm giving you the alternate count <coughs> right it will be ABC like this and then um, ending W and then it will do another ABC right WXY by definition is a double three or a double six sack so you will have a six sack here and then you will have another six sack here so this is probably one, two, three, four, five, ending a leg here, you got a B, and then you got a C higher. To finish the double before turning lower, right? So this is another possibility if it fails to break below the A. Now, if it breaks below the A, then the count is validated and we are going down in the C. <clears throat> but until it is validated, right? Until it is validated, then um, this count remains to be a possibility um, before turning lower. Now, even if it does a double, <coughs> still is expected to go down again as long as it stays below this invalidation level, even if the alternate plays out. Now, if the alternate plays out, then the next sort of resistance zone is going to be this WX here, right? So remember, if this is not an impulse, then you should not on your on this leg which is considered to be your third leg one two three it should not go to 1.618 that's usually four with three so it should be somewhere e here that it should fail and go down again in case the alternate plays out now remember the main view is not calling for a double but like i said until it breaks below the a you still do not have the validation it's just a assumption it is finished but there is no yet, not yet a validation, right? Now, let me show you again another thing in the daily time frame. Let me copy WX <coughs> here and go into the daily time frame. Now we got all the complete counts in our service. If just in case anyone wants to see, uh, we have 14 days trial. If you want to know more about forex uh, indices, stocks, or commodities, so this is the WX here that we see in the one-hour time frame, right? This W and X here. Now you notice on the daily, <coughs> what happened here is that you see this lower low here, right? This is a lower low here. That's a lower low sequence or a bearish sequence. Now when you got a lower low like this, right? Technically you want to see it extends all the way down to minimum 100%. Not always. Talking about probability, right? There's nothing that is 100% in the market. But usually with higher probability, it will go to at least 100%, right? Whether you're talking about ABC, zigzag, W, X, Y, every corrective structure uh, typically goes to 100%. Only if it is an impulse, 1, 2, 3, then it will go to 1.618. But in, in this case, if we assume this is just a corrective structure, it's not going to be like a 1, 2, 3, then because we have a lower low sequence, then we can conclude we should go down to minimum 145 
over here, right? Which is the 100% extension. So the sequence is telling us it is incomplete to the downside. To the downside with the 145 as a potential target lower the 100%. In the shorter cycle, we said this correction may be already complete and we may be ready to go lower. Now, why do I say maybe? Because we have not broken below A. If we break below the A, then yeah, it will validate the view. We are going down in the C and it can go to 145. Like I said, no, it's not going to go straight line down, but it will more or less if it, if it can break below the A, right? Technically, the stop, the invalidation level is going to move here. Then it's going to be expected to go down and any rally is expected to fail below this peak here if it can break below the A. But until A breaks, invalidation level is here because we can do double correction and do another leg up to finish the P, right? <coughs> now, once it breaks below the A, validate the view and looking for 145. If it does a double, like I said, then it should find sellers again at the next resistance and still gonna go down because the larger time frame is showing incomplete bearish sequence. So this should go ideally to minimum 145. So even if it does a double, therefore as long as we stay below 149, it should fail again, can use to go down to around 145. All right, so that's the idea here, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys again next time. Have a nice day, everyone.